Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Dr. Alexander Lin, a senior lecturer in the Department of the Built Environment in National University of Singapore. And myself and a professor, uh, Kwa Hang Wei, we are co-running a construction 3D printing lab in our university. And we think many of our projects may are quite relevant to the ongoing uh, project for affordable house in India. So we would like to do a briefing for our research project. So as you may know, uh, construction 3D printing where a concrete is being extruded layer by layer from a nozzle, which can move along a customized uh, print path is an advanced construction technology that is where the process is automatic and also is a formwork free fabrication. And what's more, uh, it's also because the nozzle is held by the, the either a robotic arm or gantry system. So the nozzle can, when the nozzle is extruding concrete, is moving along a customized uh, preset print pad. So this allows us to fabricate a building component with complicated geometry that customized based on our design, right? So, so here uh, we carry out a few projects in our construction 3D printing lab where we have a full scale concrete 3D printer with 1.5 times 1.5 meters of print bed which in, allow us to fabricate a full scale uh, building component, including that we're including a, a full scale uh, toilet unit that we carry out for our first project for India. And so actually uh, we already have this kind of toilet component uh, being uh, shipped to India and deployed there. Okay. And in addition to the design of the 3D printed component, we actually quite focus on the fabrication process of 3D printing. And as you can see in conventional concrete construction, the reinforcement component, steel reinforcement component is necessary. Well, we found that it is difficult to incorporate uh, steel reinforcement in a 3D printed concrete, especially uh, when you have three dimensional uh, reinforcement cage uh, with the vertical reinforcement component. Because as you can see, if we print concrete layer by layer like this, right? Actually, you, it is relatively easy to allocate the transverse reinforcement. Well, if you have a vertical uh, steel reinforcement on the reinforcement cage, after you print the first layer of concrete, right? The vertical component of the steel reinforcement will actually block the moving path of your concrete printing nozzle, right? So in this case, it's difficult to allocate the three-dimensional uh, reinforcement in your 3D printed concrete. So therefore, we, in our lab, we develop a new types of uh, polymer-based uh, component that is fabricated by 3D printing. And you can see it looks like a mesh, but it's not just a mesh. On the intersection, uh, location at, of the mesh element, we can see a lot of extruded portion. So in this case, when we print concrete layer by layer and we allocate this mesh-like component layer by layer, all these extruded parts will actually serve as a vertical reinforcement component. <laughs> so in this case, we can see a improved ductility after the post-peak uh, load. Uh, in our concrete, in our concrete component that is reinforced by this kind of uh, 3D printed uh, polymer-based reinforcement. So in this case, this is a very uh, good uh, fabrication method and process. If we want to deploy a 3D printed concrete structure in the future, also for the 3D printed structures that can be deployed in India for affordable house. And in addition to the earlier uh, sim the simple design for a toilet unit, we also come up with a more complicated design in another project. So you can see that we successfully uh, design a intersect a double arch and we can actually print the blocks, uh, 
we can actually bring print the building blocks for the double arch and assemble them successfully. So actually, as you can see, we have certain amount of experience in design complicated structures fabricated by concrete 3D printing. So this kind of approach is very good for uh, modular or construction or PPVC types of project that is ongoing in India. And finally, uh, one of another of our research focus is material study. So you can see we carry out a lot of various types of uh, 3D printable mortar base and clay based materials where various types of waste and recycled materials are incorporated in, including a recycled plastic, which is actually relevant to uh, the, the interest in India. And we test out the mechanical properties of these uh, 3D printed materials. And also we test out its printability, including whether we can extrude them successfully and after printing, whether the material can maintain, can maintain their shape well. Okay, and also uh, finally, uh, we also have another project, ongoing project that we are currently deployed, uh, collaborating with the House Development Board in Singapore to deploy urban farming components that is 3D printed to host the planter box that we can allocate crops and plants in Singapore. Okay, so I hope, uh, I, I can see a lot of common interest between our side and your side, and we are looking forward to work with you closely in the future. Thank you.